How to use VideoPad on Android to edit a video. VideoPad Free is an editor. We need to make sure that we've already created our video clips. So our video clips should already be in our gallery, or you can use your app and send them directly to VideoPad Free. When you have all your video clips made, go ahead and open VideoPad, and it's going to ask you to create a project. So choose Start New Project, give it a name, and then it's going to open up the project window. The first thing you need to do is add your video or music or photos or whatever that you want to put into your movie. I'm going to start by adding videos. I tried shared source, but I wasn't very successful, so I just added the videos from my gallery. It'll pop up a viewer of your gallery. You can check mark the folders that you want to have imported into VideoPad. Just click OK when you're finished. Now you can see I have video clips in the video clip library and all you need to do is drag them down in order into the video editor down below. Let's say your video clip needs to be cut up because it's too long or you only want a part of it. You can go and click on the icon right there to switch into timeline mode and it will give you a timeline of the video clip. Move the red marker to where you want to cut it, then choose slice and that will cut the video clip there. Then you can click on the clip that you want to delete and click remove and then it'll leave just the part that you want. You can then press the icon there and go back to movie clip mode. Let's say you want to add a title to your movie. You're going to go up to add. You're going to choose add text. It'll pop up a display that you need to type in the title. Then click OK. You can see now that in this top bar there's a title and even in the picture it has a title for the movie. Now let's say you want to add some sound to your movie. Make sure that you've added the sound to your project by clicking the Add button. You can see that I've already added a sound file here. You can then hold it and then drag it to the, the audio clip section of the editor. You can see that it'll drag it down and you can see the waveform. And the waveform matches the sound. You can use the blue dots to shrink it down to the size that you need. If you need to edit it more, double click on it and you'll get the waveform editor. You can move these little triangles over to shrink the waveform. You can also click on volume and change the decibels or the volume of the sound. Press the back arrow when you're finished. All right, so I've added music, I've added a title. I want to record the voices of my characters. I go up to the microphone button, which will bring up a recording window. Press the red record button to start recording your sound. Press the stop button when you're finished. And you're going to see that you'll have little clips down below and this time it's microphone mode of the voice that you record or, or sound effects that you want in your video. I did notice that it likes to move them around a little bit so you may have to click on it, hold it, and then move the audio clip to the correct position. If you ever want to play your video to see how well it's working there's a little play button, a little play arrow right here press it, it'll play the movie so you can see what's happening as you make the video. These little cubes in between the movie clips are transitions so if you want it to fade from one movie clip into another that's what these little boxes do. You can go up to the transition uh, window and you can choose each one of these transitions between the clips. I'd recommend exploring uh, that option. When you're finished, you've made all the edits you want, you've played it, and you like the way it is, you're going to go up to Save Video. So we're going to take this video project and save it as a video that you could put into YouTube or email or share it with someone. 
So click Save Video. That's going to take you to an Export Video window. You can pretty much leave these options alone. Then click Create. It's going to ask you maybe for a file name, so change it to your name. Leave .mp4 because that tells it what kind of video. Then click OK. And it will take about a minute or two, depending on how long your movie is, and it's going to save it on your device. If you ever get stuck or wonder what a button does, you can go up to the Help click it and it will pop up information about what all parts of the app are. No! 